Somewhere in Lagos, Nigeria, a vision is brought to reality to solve one of the biggest problems in Nigeria. Actually, I queue for past one hour, 30 minutes by gallon. For over three decades, Nigerians in different parts of the country have suffered from forced scarcity. This experience has not only created discomfort to Nigerians, but has hardened the economy and the cost of living in Nigeria. The country is going through a very strong phase of reform. Will the country ever come out from this phase of reform to reclaim its position as the giant of Africa? A single Nigerian said he is ready to liberate the whole of Nigeria from forest scarcity. To affirm his words, he built a $20 billion refinery, one of the biggest refineries in the world. His name is Aliko Dangote. Africa richest man. In terms of uh, quality, when we started, you know, uh, our quality was about 600 to 650 ppm. When the refinery is looking ready, products are ready for distributions and sales. This is coming up. The Dangote refinery has responded to claims by the regulatory authority that products from local refineries are inferior to imported ones. To address these allegations, the Dangote refinery conducted a credibility analysis at its laboratory to assess the quality of its diesel product. Currently, the Dangote refinery is open and selling to NNPCL. Stories you don't want this board to share. Or if you want me to share that story, let me know in the comment section. I visited the Dangote's refinery while observing the road leading to this Nigerian problem solver. Do you think otherwise? Allow this boy to focus on the title of this video. The Dangote's refinery is located somewhere in Lekki, Lagos, Nigeria. Not the big and popular Lekki you know, but somewhere in Ibeju, Lekki. This place is a new investment destination, not just in Lagos or Nigeria, but Africa. We have the Lekki Free Trade Zone at this corridor. We also have the Lekki DC port somewhere at this Aziz. And real estate investment and other businesses are springing up at this corridor. With all these investments coming in at this corridor, what are they doing on the road infrastructure, both the Lagos State Government and Nigerian governments? Somewhere in Eleko Junction, we have an access road sending traffic from Lekki Ekbe Express down to Eleko, heading towards Dangote's refinery. What's going on on that corridor? Let's explore. There's an ongoing construction from the Eleko Junction heading towards Dangote Refinery and beyond. Bear in mind, the Lagos Calabar Coastal Road is also going through this corridor. Well, that's another discussion for another day. We'll be taking a ride from Eleko Junction down to Dangote's Refinery, seeing things going on on this road. How is the road looking like? What's going on? Is it two lanes, one lane? You've seen everything as we progress on this video. From my observation, the construction affected some buildings in the residential area here in Eleko. The road construction is a double lane and work is currently going on at both directions. Traffic is flowing at both directions and work is going on at both directions. That is to say, the interchange lane where is deemed necessary. The road is paved with concrete. This is fast becoming a culture for Nigerian road contractors. Just like they did at Papa Uroshoki Express, this is what they are doing at this direction. Do excavation work, some fuel, blind the road, put iron and cast the road. I believe this is one of the strongest way of constructing a long-lasting road project. This is a construction site where they are currently working on during my visit. On this project. At this section, the boat lane are fully casted and awaiting road demarcation. We're heading towards the Dangote's refinery and other places in Lagos. And the progress continues as we tour 
this road. At this section, they are currently working on the road demarcation. As you can see, two lanes are being demarcated for traffic flow. Please kindly subscribe to the channel as a way to see our future update. And notice most people just watch and don't subscribe. If you want to see my videos again, please, please click that subscribe button. As you approach the Dangote's refinery, as I seen tankers on the road, you see more of them as we continue the tour. These are trucks waiting to load or offload at the Dangote's refinery. Yeah, this is just a few weeks into production. Dangote's refinery is two to three kilometers away from this particular point. And we are very close to Dangote, just two kilometers away. And you see Dangote's refinery connecting this access road. If you look closely, you see that traffic is flowing at one direction. This is because this road is still under construction. And we are almost close to Dangote's refinery. Just at the front, that is Dangote's refinery. That's the entrance to the refinery. And this road continues down from here, heading towards other part of, of the country. So this is what the road heading from Eleko Junction to Dangote's refinery. This is what that section looked like. Finally, we arrived at Dangote's refinery in Ibeju, Leki area of Lagos State, Nigeria. And right here, this is the entrance to the Dangote's refinery. This is Lekki Free Trade Zone, another commercial center that will benefit from this access road, aside from the other businesses and real estate opportunities at this corridor. I told the coastal road, the Lagos Calabar Coastal Road, and the Eleko section to see things going on at that project. Check it out.